It's now time to integrate the API for our user model. So the user model is going to be able to create a user, which is register a user, or log in the user. Those are the two things that we're really gonna be doing. And when I say log in the user, it's not actually creating a session for the user, but instead it's gonna return a token, which is something we'll have to add in um, later. But for now, what we're gonna do is cr first off, create that user model, or rather create any user for that matter. Um, so since we've already done some login and register views, we've created these things. We also did a logout view. Uh, we created these things for our standard Django project, but now what we wanna do is create it for our API. So let's go ahead and make an API folder or an API module, call it API. This is gonna be the exact same as we've already seen. Make an init file, and then we are gonna make a serializers file. So serializers, is the first thing. So serializers.py, and I'm gonna copy the comments serializers. It actually doesn't matter which serializers we copy, but I just wanna have a lot of the default stuff already imported, so comments is a good one for that. We paste this in, and I'm actually gonna delete all of the comment serializer classes, because uh, we actually don't even want them as reference now. Um, we also don't need the comment model. All we really need is the user model. So these are the things that I'm gonna be building off of from the start, right? We wanna create, first of all, our user create model, right? So, so the actual user create serializer is the first thing that we're gonna go off of. And I'll just say class, and it's gonna be user create serializer. And of course it is a model serializer. Class meta, model equals to user and then we'll say fields equals to, well, these are the fields that we wanna have inside of the create function or the create serializer. Um, you could use all of the fields in the user model, but I'm just gonna go off of username, password, and email. So those are the fields that I'm working off of. Again, the user model by default has first name and last name and all that, uh, but that's not something I really need to cover in this case. Okay, so we've got this. Let's actually go ahead and wrap this in to a view um, for it. So we'll create a new view file, views.py, so API views, of course. And again, I'm gonna copy the comments API views and paste these in and delete pretty much all of the other comments all the way up to this create view API. Um, that's the one we're gonna wanna change. And then the imports for serializers we're gonna to wanna to use the user create serializer instead of all these other ones. And this is gonna be, instead of comment create, it's user create. And then from accounts, or excuse me, not from accounts.models, we're gonna get rid of this. We wanna get the user account from django.contrib.auth. So this is the method that we have to use for this. Um, this gets the user model, whether it's a custom model or not, this gets the default user model, as you probably already know and come back in here, we're gonna use, we might use that user model, we might not. Um, so right off the bat, we wanna use serializer class, and that's gonna be user create serializer. Um, the query set equals to user.objects.all. Cool, so now that we've got this, let's go ahead and wrap it into our URL. So urls.py, and again, we're gonna copy the URLs from create, paste these in, grab the view that we're gonna be using. So from dot views, import that. And in here, I'm just gonna say register. I'm gonna call it register. So instead of create, it's register. Um, it technically is still a create view, but um, from a user standpoint or API standpoint, register makes more sense than create. Usually that's what it's called. It's not called create a user, it's called register a user. Um, okay, cool. So now that we've got this, let's go ahead and wrap these URLs into our main projects URLs and go into blog, URLs, and then I'm gonna go ahead and copy any of these comments, and then we will change them all to users, uh, and then accounts, in this case, is accounts, because that's the app, and we'll say users-api is the namespace, instead of account, that's kind of up to you, but I think users is a little bit more robust, because that's what, what it is, it's for the users. Um, okay, so now that we've got that, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So we go to users, register, and we see the different things. So we got username, password, email address. So um, I can try all the different stuff here. So I can put a username, 
some random password. Notice it's it's showing the password too, and then a email, and then we hit post, and it's giving us back the raw password. And in fact, it probably isn't even creating this user correctly. So let's actually try this out by logging in this user. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, go into an incognito window. So I'm basically starting a blank session here. Um, and this is, this is just a private window. It starts a blank session. So we're gonna register it or log in that is with this new user. So I'm gonna copy the username and we're gonna go into the login, copy the password, go into there, hit login. This user does not exist. Right, so it, it seems like it created it, but it's saying that the user doesn't exist. So let's go ahead and take a look at the admin by copying and pasting that, go into the admin, look at users, and this user actually is here, but the password is invalid, right? So we definitely have some errors here as far as how this is going. And this is saying user not, does not exist as a validation error because it try to check the password or whatever. Something with the validation that we actually set up is just saying that this doesn't exist. That's not the actual error. The actual error is the password is an invalid format. So we have to update our user create, um, our user create serializer. So this is the important part here. And there's another thing that I absolutely wanna do is have another field in here that's actually coming through. Now the first thing is the password. We want that to be a write only field that is it, 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 the opposite of read only right so all I can do is write to it so to do this we'll do extra keyword args equals to and then a dictionary of password and then we'll come in here and put password as being another dictionary of write only and we'll set that to true save that and go back into our API send it again, uh, we're gonna change this ever so slightly, hit post, and now notice the password is actually taken away from um, the actual created model, perfect. So that's what we wanna see. All right, so in the next one, we're actually gonna do the validation um, for all of this stuff, as well as setting up the user itself. So actually creating that user model um, in, 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 instead of doing what, what it just did, which it actually didn't even set the password. All right, so we'll see you in the next one.